didn't you? Yeah, it was a great game. It was uh, very open to start with. Johnny Hernandez here getting involved early on. Darren Brady plays him back in. And Johnny Hernandez, who has been really good and he's taken himself for a move uh, today in the papers, I believe. And uh, just doesn't get the connection in the middle of that. In the middle of the goal, sorry, from Darren Brady. But Hernandez caused problems going down the left-hand side of the pitch. This is opening goal. And it's going to come from uh, a short free kick, which is played to Stevie Murray, always alive and always aware of what was happening, cuts it back. Lee Wilkie, to his credit, gets the tackle in, but it just doesn't run for him. And it goes to Colin Nish, who just stro strokes into the empty net. He gets a lot of stick, the big man, but can you blame him for this? Not particularly. No, no I think he, he's just tried to stay on his feet. He's made the challenge, but it's fallen very nicely for Colin Nish. Next incident, Nacho Nova, who's caused every defence this season problems with his pace. He gets in behind and Duber Bo takes him out and it's a stonewall penalty. And uh, you can see Novo just gets up very calmly, slots the ball down, gets the D back into the game. And uh, they deserved that at that stage because it was end to end. But yet again, Stevie Murray, as I spoke about earlier on in the programme, causing problems, lays it back. And that's Chris Boyd just getting the header on it. And when, when we spoke earlier about the, the presence of the strikers, you've got Nish, who's about six foot two, and Chris Boyd's the same. Any ball into the centre of the goals is going to cause a problem. Right on half time, indeed, the chance to get it back, and again Hernandez, who was prominent, creates, creates himself some brilliant space, but Ndu Bardot gets out quite like shut it down. And into the second half, again Novo, his pace, electric, gets away from Freddy Dandalo, but just drags his shot wide. He could have actually, similar to the penalty, went past Ndu Bardot and attracted the challenge, but didn't manage it. And then Gavin Ray has a shot later on, so it's Bobby Lynn actually, who's come on as a substitute. Uh, he had a chance, and Gavin Ray triumphs his luck from distance, but just couldn't hit the target. And Dundee really pushed straight to the end. Lee Wilkie pushed up as a striker and they end up, uh, they really pushed and they had a lot of corner kicks and free kicks, but they just, noth nothing actually fell to them in their goals. And uh, the finished out, Kilmarnock held on for the 2-1 victory and three points. Mm.